When you are first issued a respirator and have learned to put it on correctly, you must make sure your respirator fits properly. As part of a complete respiratory protection program, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, requires fit testing to be conducted at least annually. Prior to being fit tested in any respirator, you must have completed a medical evaluation, which determines your fitness for wearing a respirator. The proper fit of your respirator must be confirmed with a fit test before you wear the respirator in a contaminated atmosphere. This must be done for all tight-fitting face pieces. If you use a face piece with a positive pressure system, it must first be converted to negative pressure prior to fit test. Qualitative fit tests are appropriate for fit testing all tight-fitting respirators except negative pressure full face piece respirators used in environments where the concentration is greater than 10 times the occupational exposure limit. One type of qualitative fit test can be performed with a mist that contains either saccharin, which is a sweetener, or a bitter tasting substance known as Bitrex. The test process is the same for both test agents. Your instructor will tell you which material will be used for your fit test. This test is valid for any particulate respirator or any gas and vapor respirator with particulate filters. The particulate filters are used so that only face piece fit is tested. The qualitative fit test must be repeated at least once a year to ensure that your respirator continues to fit properly. If your respirator doesn't fit well enough to pass this test, you will need to refit your existing respirator or try a different size or style of respirator until you pass the test. Because this is a taste test, you cannot eat, drink, or chew gum for 15 minutes before the test. The first step is a sensitivity check. It establishes your ability to taste the test agent. You don't wear your respirator for this step. Your instructor will place a hood over your head. It should be positioned so that there is a space of about six inches between your face and the hood window. This allows free movement of your head. Using nebulizer number one, containing the sensitivity solution, the instructor will initially spray 10 squeezes into the hood through the hole in the window. You must breathe through your mouth and extend your tongue slightly. If you taste the test agent at any time during the 10 squeezes, Tell the instructor. The taste threshold will be noted as 10 regardless of the number of squeezes actually completed. If you can't taste the test agent after 10 squeezes, the instructor will put an additional 10 squeezes into the hood. If the taste is detected during the second 10 squeezes, the test is completed and recorded as 20. If you still can't taste the test agent, the instructor will add 10 more. If the taste is detected during the third set of 10 squeezes, the test is completed and recorded as 30. If you still can't taste the test agent after 30 squeezes, the test is over. You can't be tested using this material. Once it has been determined at what level, 10, 20, or 30 squeezes, you can taste the test agent, you'll remove the hood and wait a few minutes to clear the taste from your mouth. Rinsing your mouth with water may be helpful. Next. Put on your respirator following all instructions for proper fitting, including a user seal check, as taught during your training session. The instructor will place the test hood over your head again and position it so you have about six inches between your face and the window. Now, using nebulizer number two, the instructor will spray the fit test agent into the hood using 10, 20, or 30 squeezes, depending on the number of squeezes needed to taste the test agent. To maintain the concentration of solution during the test, the instructor will inject one half the number of squeezes used at the beginning of the fit test, 5, 10, or 15, every 30 seconds thereafter. Continue to breathe through your mouth during the entire test. Perform the following exercises for 60 seconds each as directed by your instructor. One, breathe normally. Two, breathe deeply and regularly. Three, turn your head from side to side, stopping for a breath at each side. Four, 
four, nod your head up and down, holding at each position for one or two breaths. Five, talk. Read the rainbow passage slowly out loud. Six, bend over. Bend at the waist as if touching your toes. Be sure to hold on to the hood when bending over. You may substitute jogging in place for this exercise. Seven, breathe normally again. If at any time during the fit test, you detect the same taste you did during the sensitivity check, inform the instructor immediately. It means that your respirator does not fit properly. You must then refit your existing respirator or select a different size or style of respirator. Once you clear the taste of the test agent from your mouth, you'll repeat the sensitivity test and fit test procedure. If you complete the exercises without tasting the test agent, the respirator fits you properly. You passed the fit test. After the fit test is complete, the hood will be cleaned with a disposable wipe. When it comes to respiratory protection, you must have a proper fit. Your health depends on it.